All right, guys, we're back here with uh, Nick in Yakima, Washington. How's it going, Nick? All right. So this video is, uh, is kind of like special to me, guys, because I actually went to school with Nick. How have you been, man? Mm, ups and downs. What have you been up to since uh, middle school? Well, a lot, you know. I've went to treatment. I went to jail. I went to went to Colorado. Came back. I've, you know, I OD'd once. I've. I got married and got, I haven't got a divorce yet in the process of it, you know, like, I don't know, just, you know. Yeah. Um, you said you overdosed. What, what happened? Well, I, I died, but I kept moving. <laughs> what? Yeah. When did that happen, bro? Uh, two months ago, when it was still warm out. What, what were you uh, overdosing on? Uh, well, see, I didn't, like, you know, overdose and then, like, you know, in hospitals, anybody saved me. I I overdosed, but I kept moving. Uh-huh. You know, I felt dead, but I kept moving. You know, didn't get off my feet, and fucking, I was fine by the end of the day. Mm-hmm. But the other kids that I was with, like, we were smoking fentanyl powder in the beginning. Yeah. And, like, I didn't know it was fentanyl powder until after I was hitting it just like it was pills. What? Yeah. And then, boom, I, I was walking back to where I was at. And I, I saw the one kid that we were smoking with, and he was in the alley in ambulance. And he, the ambulance was saving his life. Me, I was like, I better not, you know, stop, stop moving, like, keep going forward. That's pretty much what saved me. Is there anybody from uh, middle school or high school, bro, that, that's out here with you? Brad. What, what the- So wait, is there anybody from high school out here? Yeah, that I know of, bro. Mm, not that I know of. Uh, do you see Michael out here? Michael or any of them guys? I know of quite a few Michaels. Yeah. Um, you, you mentioned you've been to jail, bro. What, what kind oh, of stuff yeah. have you gone to jail for? Uh, I I did I got uh, what is it? Mm, what is it? The possession of a stolen motor vehicle in the second degree. How long did you serve for that? Uh, I got bailed out, so I only did like a weekend, and then my homeboy bailed me out. That's cool, bro. Yeah. That's good. Uh, where do you usually stay at around here, bro? Oh, I got a camp. I, I posted up a tent uh, down there by the Cascade Mill. Mm-hmm. Uh, or, no, I mean the Cascade, the Boise. Uh-huh. Boise Cascade. The, oh, okay. the old mill, uh, right off the side of the freeway. Yeah, yeah, I know where yeah, you're Yeah, 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 like in the back of Bob's Burgers. That's cool, bro. Um, yeah. Um, do you usually hang by yourself, or do you usually hang with several people, or how do you do it? I, I, I don't know. It's, uh, it's, I don't try to be by myself. Sometimes it's better, you know what I mean? But, um, you know, uh, I, I got I got a, a group or, you know, a circle, a clique. You know, we're all genuinely homeless or transient, you know what I mean? Like, I choose to be homeless, you know? Right, I remember you mentioned that, bro. Yeah, like, I could, I could go live somewhere. I just... I don't want to. So. Um, and then I, I forgot to ask you, bro. Like for your childhood, how would you consider your childhood? Was oh it good? Was shit! It bad? Uh, I don't. Really, I don't really have a childhood because like I've always just been for myself. So like since I was younger, it, just like now, you know what I mean. I, I always just had enough places to go, or just you know. Yeah. So I don't. I don't really want a house of my own, or like you know. Uh, if, if I had one of those, it'd probably be like you know, the place that a lot of people would like an open door policy, you know. Yeah. If someone goes, you please. Um, were you raised by your by your mom and dad or? Nah, like I fe- well, I mean, I lived with them usually either one or the other, but I, I fended for myself, like I said. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, do you do any substances out here, bro? Any what? Substances? Any like, drugs? Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. kind of drugs? I s- well, people call them drugs. I call them medications. Because I'm I'm self medicate I self medicate. Like I smoke weed, I smoke cigarettes, I I shoot dope, I I, I barely started smoking pills. Yeah. Uh, I I started by eating them though. Oh really? Yeah. Is that yeah. common eating them? I don't know. I I think it's the better way to go because like if it's a pill, you should eat it. You know, and you don't take it orally, it'd probably uh, be better for you. Yeah, you're you the know? first person to tell me that, bro. Yeah, like that's the way I feel. Anyway, it hits you a lot different. Like, it takes like 30 minutes to an hour, and if you take anything like over half a pill, you're probably gonna puke. Mm. 
but you, you know you may feel like you're gonna die but you have a less likelihood of dying how do you feel that uh, homeless treat other homeless bro the dirtbag capital of the world man it's it, it really is Jackma is like that and you know I, I like to focus on just because we can doesn't mean we should mm. or you know like for most of us like we, we know what each other is capable of and and what to expect so therefore if it happens then I, I like to live life like not not them over or or you know they got me I like like I letting it happen so how do you view how do you think society in general views homelessness i i i don't know I, i'm not a part of my society like i'm 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 what they call i like to call a career criminal mm. i just don't do a lot of the you know big hard things of people in jail i'm mm. kind of like i maintain my freedom that way i can help you know us i look at it like us versus them i mean i'm a part of my community but i'm not a part of society Yo, bro, you mentioned you got married. Who'd you marry? Uh, this is a girl named Catherine Vargas. Oh, I don't know her, huh? Yeah, probably not. Yeah. She's like 10 years older than me. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, it's been like eight, seven, eight years now. Really? Yeah, but I'm done. We're done. You know what I mean? She, it's been about four different times. Like, she's took it off on me and went and got with some other dude and just, so I'm kind of done. And then she'll know? come back to you? Or? She, she I mean, for what it's worth, like when you love somebody, you 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 want the best you you can for them. So even right. if to me it's like even if that is her with somebody else, then I'm willing to accept that. Right. But then again, I've never I have I haven't yet you know tried to to move on. So therefore, I think she she feels she can always come back to me. But you know, I th I think this time, even if she she wanted to, I couldn't I wouldn't you know put myself leave whatever things I have going for me now and just started you know down that path and because i know it's not healthy for either of us i'm, I'm cool on that um what, what what percentage do you feel like of homelessness uh has mental health issues uh, everybody every single person. Uh, like I, I believe everybody in the world has mental health issues whether they like to believe it or not because if they think they don't then that's one within itself yeah yeah for you sure. know for sure and i mean we all have different ways of coping with it like and dealing with it what's up carly All right, well, there's a bandana right there on his handlebars. If you want to wrap it in it. Um, oh, I had a good question and it, it escaped me, bro. Um, do you have a plan to like eventually, I know you said that you choose to be homeless. Yeah. But do you have a plan where you're like, oh, well, I, I'm going to be done. I just kind of met somebody who, who they want to get sold. You better not smoke all that, Brad. All right. Um, I, I, I just met like, or I just, you know, started talking about something with one of my friends, like, um, you know, we sleep sleep together, but we haven't really done anything, you know, intercourse wise. So, mm. like, I mean, I like her and all, and she wants to get clean. So, I mean, I I was thinking about moving back out to my mom's with oh, her, okay. and then you know, because she wants to go to in treatment. That way, she can get her kids back. So, sure. So therefore, like, I feel like I can help her, you know, start getting on that track. Because my mom's willing to let me come move back, you know, if I want to get clean and sober. But I don't think I can do that without having somebody else either there. To make it, you know, worth doing or, or you know, motivate. For sure, like support. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, if somebody else is going through it, then it, then it's like, you know, hell, if they're doing it, I'm doing it too. For sure, bro. You know, support systems are very, very keen. I noticed that, like, it seems like you always got to be watching your back, no, bro? Well, I don't, I don't really have too much that I, I, you know, have to look over my shoulder and worry about just because I'm not a dirtbag like that. And, and whatnot, but I, I am pretty aware of my surroundings no matter where I go. That's good. I try to stay on my toes, That's whether good. it's for me or for my other people. Um, has anybody like ever tried like jumping you or? Yeah, or I've gotten ran up on them before. Yeah. Yeah, but usually that's, you know, over some, some don't get me wrong, like, like I, I try not to fight with yeah. my fists. I feel like, you know, words are a much better way of, um, you know, resolving problems, but if it comes down to it, if they feel there's no, no other way than to you know just throw down then you gotta do for sure yeah bro um would you be okay with me doing a follow-up bro yeah whenever you know yeah i appreciate you already it. know um and uh is there any any message that you would like to send to maybe any high school friends that we know or, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or any i don't know just try not to judge you know like like you people if, if you want to help us out really then you know the way to do it is go go get go get 
food or, or even, you know, like you say the basic necessities and, and just come down to like, you know, the blocker like right here. Yeah, for sure. You know? I'm getting a P.O. box today, bro. Yeah. And uh, what kinds of stuff would you like to see in the P.O. box? What, what from, do you mean? From, from the uh, subscriber. Isn't a P.O. box just a mailing it? Like a yeah. mail, mailing yeah, address? Yeah, it's a mailbox, but like I'm going to be getting stuff through there for uh, everybody that I interview. Yeah. And uh, what kinds of stuff would you like to see? Like gift cards? Or, or, yeah, backpacks, shoes, you know, anything really. Like when it comes down to it, like, you know, hoodies, you know, yeah, yeah shoes. Um, yeah, backpacks, let's see, yeah, bikes. <laughs> yeah, I see those are very important for sure. Yeah, bro. yeah, yeah, um, definitely. Uh, tools. <laughs> for sure, bro. Um, all right. all right, bro, well, are you okay with me posting this? Yeah, yeah, I'm done with that. I appreciate it, bro. Yep, Thank yep. you.